We're going to go straight to breaking news uh, concerning that search for a submersible because uh, uh, the latest information coming from the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, just one line, but it is an important line. Let me read it to you. Uh, they are reported as saying a debris field was discovered within the search area by one of the rovers near the Titanic. Experts within the Unified Command are evaluating the information. So uh, a significant line, uh, clearly a holding position as they uh, look to uh, find out what exactly this uh, debris is. But uh, that is a line they've put out, so it is clearly significant that the US Coast Guards say a debris field has been discovered within the search area by a rover near the Titanic. Experts within the command are evaluating the information. Let me just put some of the latest pictures uh, on the screen in terms of the search area and the sort of hardware that uh, uh, currently we are seeing because it is a huge search that we've been seeing over the last uh, little while and uh, um, we've seen more and more equipment being sent uh, to the area, the international help, and we've seen also the, the crisscrossing of the, the grids uh, showing how they're actually uh, searching this huge area of sea. But uh, I also want to put onto the screen just uh, an interview that's just come into us uh, from the BBC. One of uh, uh, the five people on board, we know that uh, French diving expert, well, his daughter has been speaking to reporters in the last little while. So let me put that onto the screen. So he has uh, lots of experience with submarine. He knows how to react if there is a problem. And so I'm very confident about it that he can um, manage good the situation and is really passionate about the Titanic since they found it uh, more than 30 years ago. And I know now is at the place you would like to be, just I really hope they will find them all safe. And I think we have to, to trust what they're doing and to be confident. Well, uh, just one of the families, as I'm sure is the case for all of the families, just clinging on to the hope, as uh, we heard earlier from the US Coast Guard, saying that uh, still they were searching for the crew, assuming they were alive, of course, so all those calculations being made about uh, the hours of oxygen and the hopes that uh, that could be elongated. But uh, uh, just that uh, latest line coming in, it's worth repeating because uh, it is the first significant uh, development in terms of information through the course of today. Normally we get uh, a press conference at around six o'clock uh, in Boston but uh, that line is that a debris field that's how they describe it has been discovered within the search area for the missing submersible Titan and uh, that was found by a remotely operated vehicle near to the wreckage of the Titanic. Now nothing uh, being confirmed but they have also said that their experts within the command centre, they have all of those uh, command uh, uh, figures there in Boston uh, putting in their data, putting in their expertise. They are evaluating this uh, new information and evaluating uh, what they are learning. But a debris field discovered within the search area. I'll